Let's take a quick moment to discuss culture, and specifically the culture in Japan. Now, I was never one of those who was obsessed with the culture in Japan, whether you think that's a bad thing or a good thing, that's really up to you. Um, it doesn't matter to me. People like what they like. However, I was fortunate enough to have gone to Japan before I knew much of anything about it, back in 2008 for a school exchange. It wasn't a big, long thing. It was only a couple of weeks. So, here's the thing. A lot of you have probably noticed that Japanese culture, and specifically Japanese entertainment, has become more common and more popular these days with streaming services and all of those trying to source, ironically, cheaper and um, pre-made products to flesh out their portfolios or their libraries, I should say. So you have this massive demand, but what's happening is, is that the current culture of North America, as it has long done, is trying to dictate the culture of Japan. Now, any country, in my opinion, is free to explore and emulate other cultures as they see fit, or not. However, because North America is such a large market for their entertainment products, they are feeling like they should perhaps change to modern culture, uh, whether or not it's actually been adopted, and whether or not it reflects the general public's preferences at large is another question. But fundamentally, there's a disconnect between what they're doing and what, what will be successful for them. So people are tired of what they're getting here, because it's kind of, as you've all seen, the same stuff over and over, um, depending on what side you're on, it could be uh, performative or pandering. Either way, it's basically the same thing, is that you're just taking political and social narratives that they're trying to push in the mass media, and that is now the entirety of the story, and actual plot, character development, stuff like that goes to the wayside. It's not across the board, there are still decent shows out there, but because of that, people are looking more to Japan for entertainment, and Korea as well, like K, um, K dramas and stuff, very popular. I've seen a few myself, they're decent. Uh, there are also some bad ones, but that's, you're going to get that with just about everything. Now, the problem is, in these Asian cultures, with their trying to change to fit what people in the West are telling them are the sensibilities they need to change to, is in complete conflict with why people are moving to those in the first place. Uh, for some, it's new and different. For others, it's more traditional um, more traditional gender roles, more traditional uh, beliefs of morality, things like that. So whether that is the intent or not, what is resulting is sabotage. Um, and also, while the West may be very innovative and, and quick to adopt new beliefs and stuff like that, other places in the world have the opportunity to see that and take advantage of being a second or late mover, late adopter, whatever you want to call it, into, like, culturally and socially. What, what the rational response is, is to look at what's happening here and see what's working and what's not. I'm all for any, anything, pretty much, that allows people to have more freedom. However, when things start going from freedom to oppression and absolutism. Anyway, people are trying to dictate how other people speak, act, behave, and that's very much what we're seeing and what we're seeing them try to push in places like Japan. So what I would say 
is for Japan, you guys, and and Korea, Asia, China. I mean, Asia is all inclusive, but anyway. Just take a look at what's happening and gauge whether or not it's actually reasonable to just adopt things wholesale or maybe question and pick and choose the advice that you're being given. Or maybe, and honestly, this might be the best approach, at least for the immediate future, is to just reject all of it. You know, that may include mine. Uh, and just do whatever you want. Do what you have done, because clearly it has helped you so far. So that's just my thought. Um, you know, you can agree or disagree, but at least consider it because if everyone's culture, like take away everything else. If all cultures end up being exactly the same, well, we all lose. Anyway, see you guys next time. And I'm probably just going to have a whole bunch of rant videos coming out and watch them, ignore them. I just want to get them all out and then never speak about them again, hopefully.